What's up? So it's now I think 2, no, 3 p.m. Um, worked until now mostly on the agency. It did some nice progress. That's how my to-do list looks right now. I'm really happy how that looks. Um, I ordered a new thingy. Um, Tim Ferriss actually recommended it to me. Not to me personally, but you know, in the podcast, the five minute journal, which is basically, um, it gives you prompts. So you do it every morning and you journal every morning and it gives you prompts. I am grateful for what would make today great, daily affirmations, three amazing things that happened and how could I have made today even better. These are obviously that you do at night. And it kind of, um, I got it because I wanted to help me streamline my journaling journaling process because I do think there is massive value in, you know, journaling and putting your, your thoughts down and just writing things just to get them out. Um, but it's sometimes very hard to, you know, just write and just like say, I don't know what I'm going to write about, but let's just write. Um, I'm not good at it. And so that means sometimes I'm not journaling. Basically, I'm never journaling unless I have something specific to write about. And so that thing will help me do it more streamlined. And um, now I have my catch up call with my partner on the agency, Ben. Um, we're going to talk about the things I mentioned yesterday with um, kind of how I rethought the whole concept behind the agency. And then after that, I'm excited we have a discovery call with one potential client um, that we have been warming up actually for now two months I think um, but um, I want to go at these calls you know with a I think it's and I and I and I got into that mode get into that mode too often I got into that mode yesterday when I talked with the CMO we are just like are so focused on clothing closing the deal and you're just like fuck 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 this is a potential client we need to close them we need to close them um but then you lose complete sight of you know the actual client's needs and so i really just want to have an open conversation and see what that guy you know wants to achieve what his goals are and whether his goals and what we do with the agency actually align and then it comes naturally you know to work together and help each other out and get him on as a client um, and then later I have another call with um, Jeanette Jeanette I organized with her the LinkedIn local in New York when I was still in New York she's an amazing person we're gonna chat about a client um, that I'm gonna help her out or that I have been helping out um, with Facebook ads and then I have my consulting call later with one of my clients so today was very well like sectioned off the first part of the day was just agency work hats down phone and airplane mode work now i just had lunch and now i'm having have calls back to back for like four hours and then um then the rest of the day you know but i'm excited i'm happy i feel like i'm getting into a better place with you know structuring my day but then again when i think about it it's an up and down today is just an up and then tomorrow I'm probably complaining and then and just saying again like fuck today is like such a messy day and I'm not getting anything done <laughs> you know but um, yeah so just a quick recap on the call I think it went well and um, we're gonna now prepare a proposal for that guy it's gonna be like a completely <laughs> what's so funny about it <laughs> we're gonna prepare a proposal it's gonna like look different it's gonna be a completely different offering um, but that was the plan going into. She, she said I can just switch the camera. But then I, I'm seeing you. Um, <clears throat> because like w with the change of it being a personal branding agency and not just a LinkedIn agency, um, we wanted to go in there and really be open-minded and like see what that person needs and what, what his goals are and figure out whether there's something we can do to help out. and. Um, he's an interesting guy like he he's an engineer he's very high up into the whole like tech world um, he's advising startups right now and he is regularly publicly speaking for Facebook at Facebook events and so he kind of wants to <coughs> kind of leverage all of the things he's already doing like the public speaking like the advising and the thought leadership in in tech and engineering and um, 
you know, leverage that to get more advising opportunities and more speaking opportunities. And we're gonna help him build out a holistic um, social media distribution, distribution strategy. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a proposal. It might be um, not a long-term relationship and more like a one-off thing, but that's what we're gonna figure out. Um, but I'm very happy with how that whole thing went down. Are you too? Yeah? Good. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up